It is against this backdrop that the government proposes a paradigm shift in the provision of social health insurance in the new Social Health Insurance Act 2023 that provides for formation of a social health authority which will repeal the current National Hospital Insurance Fund Act 1998. In our plan, I promise a fully publicly financed primary health care system, an emergency care fund, and a health insurance fund that will cover all Kenyans. This promise is delivered through the enactment of the new Social Health Insurance Act, which among others establishes the publicly financed primary health care fund, a fully publicly financed chronic and emergency and critical illness fund, and the social health insurance fund, and access to health care from now henceforth will no longer be based on ability to pay. It will be based on the health needs of every Kenyan. We are implementing a per household payment system where a flat rate applies to everyone regardless of their income. Consider this, for example. Previously, an individual earning 10,000 had to, had to pay Kenya shillings 500 for NHIF, a hefty 5% of their earnings. On the other hand, those with a salary of 100,000 or more contributed 1,700, a mere 1.7% of their income. This bizarre setup meant that low-income hunters, mamambogas, and border borders were effectively subsidizing high-income hunters like myself. The Social Insurance Fund corrects this anomaly and makes sure that every citizen pays for health a percentage of their income, an equal percentage of their income, so that we can equalize the fortunes of every citizen with respect to access to health. The Social Health Insurance Fund also signifies a shift to increased use of domestic resources for health financing and a sustainable approach, especially at a time when resources from donors and development partners are dwindling. 